Alrighty, we have official kits for Season 8 Luck and Season 8 Yami. They literally just went up, uh, so let's go ahead and check it out. If y'all new, drop a like, hit the sub, and don't forget I will be streaming in about 20 minutes from y'all seeing this. So yeah, come through, come through, come through. Okay, let's look at Yami. Green attacker, by the way. We did not know the typing for Yami, I believe, so let's go ahead and do all these images and whatnot. But uh, I'm excited. I think everyone is probably going to go for Yami more than Luck. That's just my honest opinion. But in all honesty, I do think these units are worth skipping. Plus, bear in mind that you will be able to pick them up um, after they leave, like after season 8 is over and done with. So you have to remember that. But, you know, I know a lot of people are hyped for Yami. Let's, uh, let's check out Yami first. All right, so first skill is going to be doing additional damage with 50% damage of attack and magic power. The number of additional damage increases when using skill up to four times. So uh, the number of times I use your skill one, you are able to do more additional damage, which I don't know how this is working right now on paper, but this seems pretty good. For a skill one, this is not too bad, and keep in mind, he is an attacking unit, so it's going to be some pretty good damage. That's all I'm saying. Uh, second skill is going to be AoE. Attacks after removing the enemy's counterattack, so this is staying true. If the enemy has bleed effect, uh, continuous damage, inflict stun, guaranteed. If the enemy does not have bleed, then you are inflicting bleed on them for two turns, which is not too bad. So, second skill is going to be great, and bear in mind, with the whole counterattack now, it is going to be against, you know, uh, units such as William, such as this brand new Lug, the Season 4 Charlotte. So, this unit is going to be the counterattack um, counter, if you want to say that. And then ultimate here, it's going to be... Single target damage uh, grants 100% attack power of barrier to yourself for two turns. And then you are removing all continuous damage from himself. When the number of additional attacks of the skill is maximum, attacks after applying the level 5 defense penetration. Ooh, this is new. This is new. We did not know what this was doing at first. Uh, strengthening effect and then attacks after applying the 300% damage increase enhancement effect. When the skill additional damage count is set to maximum. Ooh, okay. Wait, this Yami Loki is kind of good. He's kind of good. Okay, and then Barry, all the stuff. So this unit is not bad. I like the whole level 5 defense penetration, which is insane. And then the 300% damage increase effect when the additional damage is at max. So this is not too bad for an ultimate. Really, really strong. Uh, yeah, I like it a lot, actually. And plus the whole barrier as well. Which, I mean, I know barrier units, they're, they're kind of not so meta anymore. But having this is still really, really strong. Uh, partner skill is going to be attacks after removing the enemy's counterattack. Okay. Unique passive. Ah, okay. Defender class, 30% damage increase when attacking the enemy. Now, bear in mind that Yami is a green typing, so he's not really countering Black Ocelot like that. But still, the fact that they literally made it specifically against defending class, very interesting. And then, at the start of the turn, if you have 8 special points, gain 100% barrier of attack for one turn. If you have 8 special points, apply 30% reduced damage, another damage reduction effect. Are you kidding me? Wait, 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 wait. Green meta? Oh my gosh, Charlotte? Charlotte is going to be so crazy with this unit, I can already tell. Alright, let's take a look at Luck, uh, the unit that I don't think a lot of people are going to be going for, but let's just see, okay? So, inflicting single target damage, electric shock, so, okay, not too bad. And then you are removing a barrier. Um, okay, that's actually not too bad for a first kill, wait. You're, attack you're attacking after removing the enemy's barrier. Wait, that's actually kind of insane for a first skill, I'm not going to lie. Second skill is going to be AoE damage, applies a counter attack to effect to himself, or I'm sorry, to allies that do not have the counter attack for one turn. Uh, and then give me to one turn, increase the duration to allies with the counter attack already. So that's not too bad. Ultimate here is going to be single target damage. When attacking, inflict additional damage by 40% of physical and magic attack power equal to the number of counter attacks granted to all allies. Give yourself a plus one speed increase, which is going to be great. I'm sorry, level one, not plus one speed um, stat wise, but level wise. This is not too bad. This is actually going to do some good, good damage now. Up to what extent? I mean, at most, you're going to get like, what, 140%? I'm sorry, 160%, you know, for 40 times four. So at most, you're getting an additional 160, which is not too bad. But still, uh, bear in mind that Yami is legit going to be the counter to this unit because of the whole removal of counter attack on his second skill. So bear that in mind. Uh, partner skill is going to be if the enemy has continuous damage, attacks after applying a 30% damage increase enhancement. Pretty standard. Unique passive. If you have the counter attack, attacks after applying a 10% increase damage effect. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. So awakening passive is going to be if counter attack is applied to you every turn. A 70% damage reduction received. What is going on, dude? We are now officially in the whole damage reduction meta, which is crazy. Uh, enhanced effect is applied for two turns. Cannot stack. And then electric shock when attacking an enemy that inflicts continuous damage. Give yourself the strengthening effect of special point increase by... What? By 8? 
Wait, that number is like super duper small. Does that say eight? It does say eight. Oh my god. Wait, what? That's crazy. What the heck? Um, okay. <laughs> okay, so you're just getting your whole ultimate back. Uh, I think this is LR plus Faisal, so you have to bear that in mind. But luck on paper is not looking so bad. I still think Yami is the one you want to go for. Just I like his kit was what he's offering on the ultimate especially. And then the whole uh, remove of counter attack on the second skill. AoE by the way. So this is going to be great. And then luck. I, I don't think luck is bad at all by any means. But I do think Yami is probably the one that you want to go for. But let's go ahead and take a look at the skill pages now. So Yami is uh, granting one level one speed increase effect to yourself for one turn. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Wow, 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 wait, wait, is this, um, no, is this, is this luck or Yami? Hold on, Dios, this is the, what is it, second skill or the, I'm so confused on what skill this is. Oh, this is the first skill, what? This is the first skill, oh my gosh, so you're gaining a level one speed increase for every time you use this, what? That is broken. That is actually insanely broken, and the passive is when using a skill, there's a 100% chance to attack after applying a 50% damage increase. Yami is kind of insane. I'm not even going to cap. Yami is looking insane. Wow, what a skill page this is. What a skill page this is. And this, for Universal, is not too... This is actually insane, by the way. Bear in mind, this is max percentage, so you have to remember that. But overall, this is an insane skill page to have for Yami. Uh, Luck is applying counterattack and then Electric Shock. Okay, I don't think this is doing anything anything too crazy. And then passive, if you have a counterattack effect when attacking, there's a 100% chance to attack after applying a 40% all attack power increase. Okay, that's actually really good as well. So, yeah... Right now, I'm going to go ahead and say that Yami is definitely the uni you want to go for. I mean, he is looking insane on paper, at least, um, especially combined with the skill page. Luck is looking really good as well, but I don't think he's a unit that you want to invest in, especially with Yami legit being the counter. And plus, he does have the type advantage counter as well. And plus, like, with all the counter attack units, they are mainly blue. Okay, so you have to remember that, um, you know, you have support William, you have season 4 Charlotte, you have this luck. Those are the key meta units you will probably see that do have the counter effects in PvP. So with Gummy bring, being green and having that AoE skill, removing the counter attack, uh, I don't know if this is a unit that's... I don't know if you want to have luck. That's all I'm saying. But overall, let me know. What do y'all think of these units, kids? I am liking what they offer on paper. Yami, like I said, is definitely the one I think you want to go for. But for free to play, I've already said this before. If you do not have a lot of crystals, then you are going to be saving 100% for Mary Leona and dropping in about 19 days time. So I don't know, man. Uh, bear in mind that they are seasonals, which means that you do have a free-to-play manner of getting them, just not now. Okay, so they will be available probably at the end of the month whenever we do, uh, whenever they get added to the general box and everything. But yeah, so you have to remember that. And plus, their skill page are also now up for grabs in a free-to-play manner. So in reality, free-to-play, you can just skip every single season from now on. It's just it's going to take you a long time to get these units, but. Hey, look, you got to do what you got to do if you're free to play, all right? But anyways, I'll go ahead and end it there. I will see y'all in about 20 minutes time. And yeah, let me know what y'all think of these kits, all right? But on there, y'all take care of a good one. See y'all in a little bit. Peace.